YouTube viewers, this is Sneak Peek 213 and I'm going to teach you how to download and give you a review on Camp Studio, this screen capturing software. Sorry about that. That was um, Twitter. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to uh, download um, this software. So let's get started. As you can see, my holiday background. Anyway, let's get started. So you go to your internet and hold on, let me close that. You go to your internet and you wait and you go to google.com okay go to your address bar and just type in google.com oops forgot the dot com part oh man it take me somewhere else anyway Okay, we're at Google. Oh, what you want to type in in this box is Cam Studio. Nothing else, just Cam Studio. Click enter, and it takes you here Cam Studio free screen recording software. You click the first one, and it takes you to the official Cam Studio website, camstudio.org. I will give you the link to this website if you don't want to go through all that, but anyway. So free streaming video software, it's free, you don't have to pay for anything. So you, you just go down and it t tells you what it, it is and if you, some other stuff. And then what you want to go here is to the download links. Where it says under so where can I get it and how much does it cost. It's free. 100% free. What you want to do is you want to click this first one and you just, after that, uh, when you download it and you follow all the steps. Once that's done, you should have the icon on your desktop like so. After you have that, you want to go back to the website and you want to download under lossless Kodak, you want to download the latest version, Cam Studio Kodak 1.4. Zip. After you download that, you just open your Cam Studio window. I have in my taskbar already, so I just double click it and it pops up this right here. It's a little screen, and as you can see, I'm recording already, but anyway. So I and the main screen it tells you the current frame, the time lapse, the number of colors, the Kodak, which I, I just downloaded Cam Studio Losses Kodak version 1.4. That's the one I told you to download. And the actual input rate and the dimension. I could have made the dimension a little bit or a lot more bigger so it'll be widescreen, but I noticed that the widescreen quality isn't that great and you can't really see the pictures that clearly so I just left it to regular to me YouTube they should have made a choice between if you want to leave it regular or widescreen but unfortunately they didn't so we have to deal with it anyway so let's get started here on the top view you have the record button the pause button and the stop button these three things are very self-explanatory and then you have the toggle view button and the screen annotations button and the button to record AVI or flash I, I choose AVI anyway the toggle view is if you don't want to see this part anymore you just press it down and, and it's gone and just leaves you this and if you don't want to see this tabs down up here you just click that and it's all gone if you want to switch it back you just press it again and then here's the screen annotation it pops up this and if you want to change the shape of your flashing rectangle you could just do that or the layout you just have one but I just leave it by default. I recommend leaving it. Anyway, yeah, this is the, to change your API or flash. Okay, um, here is the region button. In the region tab, and you could choose region or fixed region or full screen. Fixed region is um, the size of the rectangle flashing box that um, you have when you click record. You could change the width and height. Um, uh, you could change it to 1200 by 560 for the wife's widescreen um, view but I choose it to leave it regular as I said before because it's a more better quality um, just click the box drag corners just pan and don't click that and just click OK so yeah click full screen this if you want to view the whole screen of the thing not just a small area okay but fixed region is more better okay under options you have video options video options so you click that and this pops up here is the compressor under compressor you have the thing that you downloaded Cam Studio Lost Kodak version 1.4 that's the thing I told you to download on the website 
Um, by default, it's Microsoft Video One, but I re recommend using the one you downloaded. And the quality, I leave it to nine. The reason I didn't put it all the way because the quality can make the video too big, and t therefore it takes forever to download. So just leave it at ninety. It's perfect. I set the key frames every thirty-three frames and capture frames every 30 milliseconds and playback rate is 33 frames per second to adjust that you just move this little bar here this is very good i recommend setting it to these settings and or you can, and click the um check the box of audio adjust and then click ok so go to, down to cursor options um you guys are may wondering how do you get the yellow um mouse highlighter thingy this is it right here you can hide your cursor or show cursor. Show cursor is more better so people will see what actually you're clicking and where to go. You can use the actual cursor, the default one, or use a custom cursor by picking through here or use a cursor from a file that you download from a website or whatever. I like to use the basic one. Um, you can choose to highlight the cursor, like I have it on right now, or don't highlight it. But highlighting is good. And then you can change the size if you want to make it really big. Um, you can change it to circle, ellipse, square, ellipse is like that, square, or a rectangle, Wait. like that. I like to leave it circle because it's better, or you can change the color as well. I leave it regular yellow. I should have picked pink, but uh, I just leave it yellow. So click OK. After that's done, you go back to options, and you could choose between if you want to re don't record or record from a microphone, which I'm doing right now, or record from audio speakers. Um, I choose to record from audio from microphone and then you want to go down here and you want to go to audio options for microphone. Click that and then just under under audio capture for device click default one. It's better. Then I use the recording format is I use 22.50 gigahertz stereo 16 bit. You could change it if you want but I like to leave it. And I use the compressed format as mp3 by default which is good and some other stuff. And I, uh, I, I enter leave every minute, every um thing. So just check that and by milliseconds. And I use MCI recording. So just click OK. All these things that I'm telling you to click is very good. Um, you could use audio video synchronization. You could use do not shift the video or audio streams. I choose the second one, and I time shift is 100 milliseconds. So just click OK. And you can enable auto span or not to enable. Enable auto span is really good so when you move your mouse, um, the rectangle box will follow. So just click auto span speed and I leave it 250. The reason I don't put it all the way is because when I, once I move my mouse like so, it will go too fast. So 150 is good. So just click OK. Go back to the auto option. You could have program options. I just um, set it to these two because I'm not sure what the rest are, but these settings are good. Save settings on exit and capture transitions as layered videos, layered windows. The capture transitions as layered wi windows um, option is really good because when you have um, Windows era, this is needed. Okay. Um. So you have record flash options. I just click the top, check the top two and the keyboard shortcuts. Ba basically, self expandery So you don't have to go to the windows and click record. You could use your keyboard to do all that. Like you could set it to Ctrl Alt. Or shift or anything like that under record pause key this is basically self-explanatory click ok the tool screen annotations the one i showed you earlier is basically the same thing and video annotations um that's if you want to record a video um sorry about that anyway here is a uh Okay, I took that out. Okay, put that back here. Anyway, yeah, um, view options, normal view, compact view. This is the same as the toggle button I showed you earlier. That's basically what is it? Okay, um, help, very self-explanatory. If you want to learn more, if my video wasn't good enough, then you, know, you could get more help from here. Okay, so that's basically the review and tutorial or whatever you call it of Camp Studio. Um. I hope this. I hope you learn, and I hope you decide to get this because it's an awesome screen capturing software to get. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to please rate, comment, subscribe, and maybe you, maybe you will hear a song after this. I'm not sure. Peace.